Hey guys, ow, Tabby's here. Um, I just got back from school. It is like 11, 11.30. Um, my mom picked me up from school today. Um, today was my last day of school. I had finals and I got a 91 on my six final. Woo woo, give me a high five. I am so, so, so happy. I think I got the second highest grade in my class, so that made me really, really happy because, you know, it just makes you feel good inside when you do really good on something. So, for my final grades for this year, I have all A's except for language arts, and that's an 89.5. So, hopefully, crossing my fingers, I hope that my language arts teacher would be really nice and round it up for me. But... We will see. Anyways, I have uh, Tabby here. Um, and I'm just chilling here on my couch. Today, I broke dress code. I just wore sneakers with socks and I wore leggings and then just like baggy, like long sleeve t shirt that I got when I went on the Tennessee trip with Ben. So, yeah, I just got home. Well, I got home maybe a half an hour ago, and I watched a little bit of TV, watched a little bit of YouTube videos. This summer is going great. I'm doing nothing basically this summer. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. <sighs> All right, so anyways, it's going to be my first vlog, so I hope you guys like it. I'm pretty sure it's really, really boring right now, but yeah. Um... I think the first thing that I'm going to do to start off the summer is I think I'm going to clean this room because it turned into a mess and then, then, which what I also think would be a really good thing to do for my room because it's kind of important is, what did I just say? Oh yeah, um, so... Not tomorrow, but this, today's Wednesday, so this Saturday, um, we're having a yard sale at my house, um, well, the entire neighborhood is, and I'm getting rid of, like, a lot of stuff that was in my room that I truly do not want anymore, and that is all of that. So, outside of my room, it looks like a mess, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put prices on the stuff, um, I'm also gonna clean up a little bit around my room. I'm not really going to do a lot today, guys. There's not really a lot for me to do. Um, today is just a good day just to say, relax, school's over. Oh my god, I'm so happy school's over. Like, that just makes me so happy. Um, just to say goodbye to civics homework for the summer, but I still have summer homework, so that's going to be fun. Um, I'm probably not going to start that until like a week before school starts because... I do that sometimes um, and then I also think that I'm just gonna maybe yeah I think I'm gonna also clean a little bit of my bathroom because it's also like really messy so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get back with you guys and show you when my room's all nice and uh, clean I think a while ago I think it was probably around November, I believe, when I posted a video of me cleaning my room. Yeah, um, don't watch that. I think I might make a new one because I look so young in that. For some reason, I feel like I changed. I don't know, today I, I, oh my god, my face looks awful today. Uh, when I went to school today, so those finals, and I just wanted to be comfy, I just dressed down and I just put on mascara and blush and a little bit of chapstick. That was it. I was so original today. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to do that. Then I will get back with you guys. Alright guys, so I just cleaned it. Um, yes, I still need to dust. I will do that. But besides, and I still need to, um, you know, um, sweep my floors and... 
I'm not taking physical therapy anymore. If you guys don't know why, I'm not going to explain it. I might, if someone puts in the comments, I might explain it to them. But basically, my feet still, like my ankles still, like roll in. So apparently, that's always going to look like that. So <clears throat> that sucks. Sorry, I randomly just said that, but I wanted to say it for some reason. Anyways, um, so yeah, um, it looks good. My bed's all made and cleaned. This doesn't have all my clothes on it because I put all the clothes away. This cardboard thing is for when, um, um, Beth and Shula goes out for playtime. I, I try not to say her name because I'll make a separate video on that. And everything is all clean over here. This right here. Is gonna be, I guess, my school area. So I'm gonna put all my school stuff on there. I got the Hershey ball under there that I got. Swim bag and then book bag under there. I want to go off the swim team next year. So my dad bought that for me. Thank you. But I paid for half of it. And this charger cord because I have a lot of charging things. Um, this is all nice and I just need to dust it. We dust this as well. I think this is how I'm going to go from the new setup. So, the fake flowers. This little picture of me from two years ago. And then... Yeah, the, like my little... Um, um, mirror. And then this like little cute like little cat thingamajiggy. And if you're wondering why I have a picture of me from two years ago, it's because this is the best picture I have ever took of myself for a school picture. And yes, I know that does not supposed to be there, it's supposed to be in the back. Don't mind my nails, they're like all chipping off, but I want to paint them tonight. I'm thinking about going with this shade, because I've been really liking this shade lately. It's like this like little blue. I've never used this sh um color before i've never used this shade of blue before like i have this blue which i really like because i think it's really pretty i've used this a few times but i've never used this kind of blue it's like a more bam your face kind of blue anyways oh look at me guys yeah i uh look very comfy don't i yeah you see it is pretty long on me but then i just Rocking the leggings and this bathing suit still drying. I just got it. It's so cute. And my bathroom is all nice and clean now. Yeah, I can't. I can't take selfies like that. I suck at taking selfies. Anyways, yeah. So, another thing that I wanted to say is, well, bam, my room is clean. I am so happy. Okay, anyways. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Okay, so since it's supposed to be like a vlog, but I really suck vlogging, I guess, because nothing exciting is happening today, but for some reason I want to make a vlog for you guys. So, this video is probably going to be really, 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 really boring. I am so sorry. I'm going to set you there. I'm going to talk to you guys. Yeah, so basically the reason why I have the chinchilla at home is because... Well, let's just start off with the background. Don't know how old she is. It is a female. She is named Aurora. Um, she's very skittish. I think it's because she doesn't really know me very well right now. But um, I've been doing some practicing every day where I let her sniff the back of my hand first. And then I give her a little rub. And she lets me rub her now without sniffing me. So I think she's starting to get used to my scent. So, what I think I want to start doing is seeing if she'll let me pick her up. I've been starting where I put hay in my hand and I put it next to her and she kind of like crawls like her two front paws on my hand but hasn't really started to trust where, let me pick, if I try to pick her up she kind of runs away. So, I don't want to really pick her up yet so I can't really make a video where I have her in my hands yet. It's going to, if I do make a video on her it's going to be where she's going to be in her cage so yeah um the reason why i have her is because at my school my animal size teacher she has like a lot of pets in there 
and she can't, it's like 12 of them, and she can't take all of them home with her in the summertime. She always needs someone to like, like she gets some of her students to take care of them over the summer. So she came to our classroom one day because I have her husband as my Amazon teacher because they work together. And she came to our classroom and she asked us if any of us would like to take one of the pets home for the summer to take care of it. She said that she would pay for all the food, bedding, anything that the pet needs. So I volunteered to take Aurora home, which is their chinchilla. They had two chinchillas, they have Aurora and they have Bubba, but Sydney took Bubba home. So I have, now I've petted, uh, is that even a word? I pet um Bubba before and Bubba's really sweet and um a few people in the classroom have held Bubba before this was my first time ever meeting Aurora so I think just because since I never met her before I didn't really get to know her personality yet maybe I don't think I might ever be able to pick her up I just think her personality is just where she's very independent doesn't like to be held but hopefully hopefully she'll let me pick her up sometime and I can make a video where I'm holding her. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but this side is a lot longer than this side. Do you see that? This side's longer. Anyways, that's really off topic. So, I am taking care of her this summer and then um, before school starts, I will bring her back to the school. So, yeah, if that's why you guys were wondering why I have a, ch a random chinchilla in my room, that's the reason why. And you know, I'm really excited because I've always thought the chinchillas were so unique and really cool. And now I actually have one in my room. It's sad that I don't get to keep her because she is the school's, um, well, my AM science teacher. But I think it will start to allow me to know how to bond with chinchillas. So if I ever do want to get one um, in a few years or so, I know how to take care of them and everything. So I think this will also be a good learning experience for me um, to how to handle and take care of chinchillas. But it will also be good for her because I know that I'll probably spoil the crap out of her. Like I know that like... I spot clean her cage like every time I go into my room. So her cage is always staying spotless, I gotta say that. So she is one happy camper in there. Um, I know that Chinchilla is supposed to have hay 24-7, like where they're where they always have access to it. But when I but when I picked her up from school, she didn't have any hay in there, and I've never seen hay in her cage before when I've visited her and stuff. At school so I don't know if they feed her hay I think it's kind of sad because I know Bubba loved hay and we would always feed him through his little sand bath area so what I'm thinking is well I've been I don't I don't want to just randomly start putting a big thing of hay in her cage but I do want to make hay um, for her there so she can have it so I think I'm gonna, what I've been doing lately is that every night before I go to bed I give her a few pieces of hay just let her have it. I think that's just what I'm going to do over the summer because I don't know. Um, tomorrow I have a meeting from 8 to 11. I think I'll vlog a little bit after that to show you guys what I'm doing. From 8 to 11 I have a meeting at the school because I am one of the officers for next year for my school. I'm representing the school and I am the reporter. Uh, I, I want to be secretary but since, it's, since, I'm, since I was only a freshman this year. I understand why I got reporter and my friend, uh, I'm just gonna put her name out here, I'm pretty sure she doesn't care. My friend Rachel, she got Sentel, 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 I don't really know how to say it, but so we are gonna be officers together and it's gonna be so much fun. The other people that are also on the officer team at our school are really sweet and nice and they're all gonna be seniors next year except for another one that's also a freshman with us this year I'm not really friends with her so I don't really also want to put her name out but so that's gonna be really exciting so I'm probably gonna have a lot of meetings on that I mean a lot of like vlogs and stuff coming back from those meetings and you what happened and etc so I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here 
I don't think there's anything else that I want to add. Um, possibly, possibly, I don't really know. But tomorrow when I come back from me, I might make a video showing you me clean the chinchilla cage. If you guys are interested, again, this, my channel is be based also on animals. So don't think that I'm just changing it to beauty and vlogs and all girl stuff. It's still also going to be mainly pet things because pets are a big part of me. I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up so animals are really important to me so if you don't like watching them don't click on them but if you like watching these videos then click on these videos and watch these. So hope you guys weren't too bored about this vlog. I know it was kind of boring and stupid but you guys got to see my room get really cleaned and and you guys heard about my awesome information where I got 91 on my civics final and I was so excited. So I will see you guys next time and I think my next video might be, might be because I already told you about Aurora now so I don't think I have to make a video on that. But what I do think I'm going to do for my next video is make a video telling you guys um, where they said you're um, like a haunted where I tell you about like scary things that happened to me before because don't know if you guys know this you probably don't but I have had some really creepy things happen to me before in my life um this um, little like thing before I shoot that video I might be in the same outfit it's not that my house is haunted it's just I think when my mom's mom, my grandma, passed away, she still kind of lingered and it's not that I was upset about it, I'm like it's just I want her to be in heaven, I don't want her to be like a ghost here because you know that's just, I don't know like I actually feel kind of awkward talking about this in case she is here. But I'm happy that she's, I feel like she's still around me all the time, which I really like that because it's just a good feeling knowing that someone that was very special to you is still around you. But it's also kind of freaky because sometimes I feel like I have a presence around me when I don't want a presence around me. Like I'll just give you a little example. I was sleeping one night and when my dad used to come home, he would always um, sit on the bottom of my bed and he would usually just like rub the bottom part of my leg and say good night. He'll come up and give me a little kiss on the cheek and then he'll go up and he used to come home really late around like 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, for me being really, really small, for me being like four years old, that's really late because you know when you're like four years old you have a bedtime. So for me. I'm just gonna glue this word. So for me, oh sorry, that's a okay. So basically for me, knowing that I was used to him always coming, um, it really scared me when I felt that at the bottom of my bed. You know when someone sits at the bottom of your bed and it kinda like you feel it kinda like you know when your bed kinda like goes down a little bit when someone sits on it and you're laying on it. That happened and I reached because I didn't really get to sleep yet. I was still kind of awake because I couldn't really sleep that night. I was probably like four or five years old and I leaned up um, and my eyes still closed. I kind of went like this, like trying to find my dad. And I was like, dad, 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 stop, stop kidding around with me. And my dad wasn't there. And that just scared the EBGs out of me. I started screaming like crazy. My mom started running down the stairs. She fell and broke her foot. Which, well not her foot, her like big toe. And still to this day, I feel so bad about that. Because I feel like it was all my fault. I should have been panicking. But when you're like four or five years old and you'll know what's going on. It scares the EBGs out of you. You know? Like, I don't know if it was like a ghost or something, I don't know if my mom, mom or not, 
I don't know if it was my guardian angel because I looked up online. They said as long as your guardian angel sits at the bottom of your bed at night to make sure you're okay. And then I also found out that your guardian angel is someone that was really close to you or your parents. And or it could have just been a fluke. It, I could have just been dreaming. Maybe I woke up from a dream and that's what it was. I don't know. You know, I'll never know because I was like four or five. Uh, but they say when you're little, you can presence things. So, I don't know. Anyways, I'm making a separate video on that. About, I have plenty other stories, trust me. About weird things that have happened to me before. And I will talk to you during that video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this i don't know um you probably only liked the last part that i just said but hope you guys have a great day i'm happy it's summertime and i will got i will see you guys in my next video my next video will probably be after this after i upload this first because i'm using that like youtube camera thingamajiggy so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye